The nationwide eviction moratorium expired today as the CDC stated this eviction ban in March of 2020 as part of the CARES Act. Thanks for choosing to spend your Saturday night with us. I'm Chanel Porter. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon is live in studio tonight after hearing how one Missouri Congresswoman slept on the steps of the U.S. Capitol to show her dedication to extending the moratorium. Hannah, tens of thousands of people could lose their homes tomorrow. Yes, this map from the U.S. Census Bureau shows how many people are likely to be evicted. As you can see, Missouri is the darkest color, meaning 48% of survey respondents could face eviction. That's an estimated 67,000 people. This is our way of saying, hey, House leadership, reconvene us like we're still here. Do something. We can't take vacation. U.S. Congress adjourned for their August break without coming to a decision on the eviction moratorium. That means that tens of thousands in Missouri could be evicted from their homes starting tomorrow, August 1st. Missouri Congresswoman Cori Bush slept on the Capitol steps to show her colleagues how passionate she is about extending the moratorium. Let's keep going. Let's do everything that we can do. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Congress ran out of time to pass the legislation needed to extend the ban on evictions. When it comes, though, to the technicalities of legislation, we just needed more time. In June, the Supreme Court ruled the CDC had overreached by extending the eviction ban, leaving any extensions up to Congress. Because when we signed up to be in Congress, we said that we would serve and we would represent every single person in our district, regardless of their, their um, socioeconomic status. State and local governments could legally give out rental assistance from their COVID relief funds. Live from the studio, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Hannah. Landlords couldn't start the eviction process tomorrow.